हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर फोर्थ सेशन ऑफ एक्सेल फंक्शन सीरीज द ग्रीन कलर फंक्शन सच एज काउंट सम काउंट ए प्रोडक्ट एंड सम प्रोडक्ट आर ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन आर अर्लियर सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एवरेज मेन एंड मैक्स फंक्शन लेट एस फर्स्ट सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एवरेज मेन एंड मैक्स फंक्शन एवरेज इट रिटर्न द अर्थमेटिक मीन ऑफ इट्स आर्ग्यूमेंट विच आर नंबर मेन रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू इन अ सेट ऑफ वैल्यू इग्नोर्स टेक्सट एंड लॉजिकल वैल्यू मैक्स इट रिटर्न लार्जेस्ट वैल्यू इन अ सेट ऑफ वैल्यू इग्नोर्स टेक्सट एंड लॉजिकल वैल्यू द डेटा सेट विच वी विल बी रेफरिंग टू इज द सेम इन्वेंट्री डेटा I will only change few of the data values for the explanation purposes. There are few stakeholder queries. Let us go through them one by one. The first query, the stakeholder wants to understand what is the average cost price of the items with the product category as milk. So, if you see the data here, column number 3 is the product category. So, the stakeholder is interested in knowing the average unit cost price for the milk category moving to the next query what is the maximum unit cost price of the items in the product category as milk so here the stakeholder wants to understand in the given data for the product category milk what is the maximum unit cost price in the next question the stakeholder similarly wants to understand what is the minimum unit cost price of the items in the product category as milk we will try to find the answers to these queries using the excel functions average min and max now let us move towards our excel sheet to find the answers to these three queries starting with the first query where the stakeholder wants to know the average unit cost price of all the items present in the product category as milk we will quickly scan through the data and look for products which have the product category as milk while scanning through the data we can see that starting from row number 2 till row number 14 we have all the products that have the product category as milk to make sure that we are not missing any product let us completely scan till the end now we are sure that we do not have any other product with the product category as milk we have to consider only the rows starting from row 2 till row 14 let me zoom the data for better visibility so to answer the first query let us use the average function to find the average of a set of values select the cell press equal to and then write the function name which is average start the bracket and select the cells for which you want the average to be calculated in our case it is g2 till g14 then close the bracket and press enter so this is the average unit cost price of the items in the product category as milk can we verify this answer yes we can verify this answer by simply selecting the cells from g2 till g14 and checking the average value which is coming in the status bar hence the output that we are getting is correct now let us understand how the average function handles any text value in a given cell or an empty or a blank cell we can see in our data cell g2 is having text value assigned to it and cell g12 is an empty cell or a blank cell the question here is will the average function consider the text value or it will consider the anchor and empty cell to find out this let us do a simple exercise select the cells that are numbers starting from g3 till g11 and then selecting g13 and g14 Here the average shown in status bar 
matches with the average that is coming out during the function average. So we can see that the average function does not consider the cell with the text value and an empty or a blank cell. It just simply ignores the cell having the text value or an empty or a blank cell to find the final arithmetic mean of a given set of numbers. It only considers numeric values present in the argument list. Let us now move towards our second query. In the second query, the stakeholder wants to understand the maximum unit cost price of an item in the product category as milk. We can find the answer to this query by using the max function. Let us see what output do we get using the max function. So apply max function to the cells which we want to consider while calculating the maximum value. The max function looks for numeric arguments. For our case, we will select cells from G2 till G14. Close the bracket and press enter. Here we can see that we are getting the max value of any item with the product category as milk, which is 65. We can scan through it and we can see that 65 is a correct output. Now let us understand again how this cell having the text value assigned to it and this empty cell is impacting the max calculation. In our case, we selected the cells from G to till G14. We got an output of 65 rupees as a maximum unit cost price for an item in a product category as milk. Now, if we calculate the max function by only considering the cells that have numeric value assigned to them, that is data from cell G3 till G11 and then G13 and G14. We can see that we are getting the same output what we got earlier by simply selecting all the cells of the unit cost price from cell number 2 till cell number 14. The output is the same. So it shows us that the cells having the text values and the empty or blank cells are ignored by the max function. On similar lines, let us find the answer to the third query where the stakeholder is looking for the minimum unit cost price of any item in the product category as milk. We can simply find the answer to our third stakeholder query by using the min function. Let me quickly apply the min function to see what answer do we get. The cells that are considered for min calculation are the same that were considered for max function. We have the output for the min function as 51. Here also, like in the case of max function, the cells having text values assigned to it or an empty or a blank cell is not considered and ignored while calculating the minimum value. Here we will mark the end of this session. For remaining Excel functions, let's meet in our upcoming sessions. I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for future notifications.